Hey, everybody. How are y'all doing? I'm going to give everybody a chance to kind of jump on, sign on, and we are going to paint. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and get my paint all organized. Hi there, how are you? Hey, Ash, how are you? Ashley, you're not going to believe it. Today, I was tripping. Um, so today, for whatever reason, I lost a whole day. Hey, Miss Victoria. I I got confused. I thought today was Wednesday. I don't know how I, I thought I lost a whole day. And I was like, wait a minute. Did I not go live last night? Yeah, I did. I did. And your dad's all like, seriously, you need to get some rest because I think you're just messed up in the head. It's like... So the good news is I didn't miss a whole day. I just thought I missed a whole day, but I didn't actually miss a whole day. So if that makes any sense. Uh, Cause there for a while I was like, oh my God, I think I missed a whole day. But uh, we've been painting those little candy canes. And um, I think we did like 350 of them today. So we've been real busy, but we got a lot of stuff done. So that's the good news. Hey Lori, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. So good to see you. Um, and, um, I'll tell you what, I, I worked really hard today. And so it's like, but the good news is I thought it was Wednesday and I thought I screwed up and forgot Tuesday, but it was really Tuesday. So it's all good. Okay. <laughs> I know y'all can relate to that. All right. I'm going to do the kitty cat. I call him the kitty cat out of the pumpkin with the lid. Here's our pumpkin lid right here. Hey, Trisha, how are you? Uh, oh, did you get it fixed? I mean, did you find what you were looking for? I hope you did, because I know you were looking for a template. Hopefully you did. Let me know if you did. Because um, we worked on our website, and we're not website gurus by any stretch of the imagination, but we've done a lot of work on it, so hopefully it's, it's a little more user-friendly. So, I'm so glad y'all could join me. I'm doing one of my favorite activities of all time, which is painting, in case y'all can't tell. I'm extremely passionate about that. Um, sometimes maybe a little bit too much and versus like calm it down, calm it down. Okay. So what I did on this guy is I did two coats of light orange. Uh, and then on top of the, after the two coats of light orange dried, I did yellow Christmas green, of course, black. I'll give him some yellow eyes and the yellow on the inside of the ears and then Christmas green on the leaves and the rim. And then this is reindeer brown. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do some shading on this guy, and I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, like I normally do, and start the furthest away from my body, and so I'm gonna do the green. And that means I need dark green. So I've got my dark green, and I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here, because that's what I do. Okay, Trisha says she did, good, good, yeah. Because I always worry if uh, somebody can't find something on the, uh, on the, Website, you know, because, well, A, you worry, is there a glitch with the website? B, I worry, did I give them the wrong directions? Uh, or, you know, just what's going on? So I'm glad, you, I'm glad you did. Good, 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 good. All right, so I'm going to do some shading. And I ran into Miss Joy. I don't know if she'll be on here tonight. I was at the shop the other day, last weekend. She happened to be there, and she's, okay, Mary, I have to talk to you. I was like, okay. She said, I'm having a lot of trouble. I was like, okay, what, what's, her, what's the problem? And she said, I'm having a lot of trouble shading. She says, when I watch you and Ashley shade, I watch how y'all dip the paint, you know, like you always show us. And, um, but some reason, you know, you're, she says, you've got this long stroke and you have a lot of paint. And she's asked, I put my uh, paint in there and it just doesn't go anywhere. And so I said to her, I said, what do you mean? And she said, it's like the paint doesn't want to stay in my brush. So in those kinds of scenarios, uh, and her and I talked about it, there's a couple things you want to think about. If the older the, the brush is, to me, the easier it is to shade. So if you have a brand new brush, let me see if I can find a brand new brush to kind of show y'all. You got this, maybe this looks, this is pretty brand new. If I had to use this one, I probably could make it work. Hey Terry, how are you doing? I'm so glad you could join us. We're talking about brushes, right? I probably could make this work, but I've been doing this for a long time. So if you're a newbie and you're having trouble because you, you've got a brand new brush, you don't have the luxury yet of having a worn out brush, take this brush and just put it in water. Hey, Missy, how are you? 
So good to see you. Just love to see people with my nickname because that's my nickname too. So I'm never going to forget your name, Missy. Uh, but what I would do is if you're trying to make that brush uh, have a little age on it, if you will. Uh, hey, Michelle, you're not late. We just kind of got started. Put this in water for two or three days. Now, when I say put it in water, here's my water bucket. You see how much water I got in there? So whatever bucket you got, fill it all the way to the top. Why? Because you want that uh, brush to float. You do not want that brush sitting down on the very bottom getting messed up. So put it in there for a couple days. See if that'll kind of help you age your brush out. All right. So I'm going to do my dark green. Yeah, good brushes are great. Knowing how to use them is even better. So true. So true. And um, I think I even said this with Missy when she and I were talking one day because uh, she was, she's was she got a CNC and she's really struggling with learning how to use it. And my, I just didn't really encourage her to do a couple different things, you know, some suggestions that might help. But the main thing is don't give up because, you know, you're at that point where it, you've already invested so much time and energy in learning how to use your brush. So you don't want to give up. Because here's the deal, you give up, there's no chance you're going to get any better. You keep doing it, you keep doing it, even though you don't like everything you see. And just so y'all know, uh, um, and I think Ashley and probably even Miss Victoria, who's painted a lot, they probably could verify this. Uh, there's sometimes we do things that we don't really like either. So it doesn't always, uh, just because you've been doing it for years, <laughs> doesn't always mean that everything translates and turns out the way you want it, unfortunately. But uh, yes, just put that brush in some water and see if you can age that brush a little bit. It would be my suggestion. And because I think with some of you, if you had a brush that I was that I called an aged brush. Hey, Debbie, how are you? So good you could see us. I got to see y'all. Have to tell y'all this. So I've known Debbie for I don't know a long time. And I was at the shop this weekend, and Debbie was there, and she was out in the parking lot, and I was close to the parking lot. And Debbie's like, hey, Mary, you know, and I was like, hold up a minute. I didn't know who was there. I said, hold up a minute. I got to yell at Bruce. And um, Debbie's just standing there watching me and Bruce kind of like, I don't know, doing what husbands and wives do sometimes, having our little argument. But after I got through arguing with Bruce, I, I got to talk to Debbie after that. So, Debbie, it was good seeing you. Sorry I didn't get to talk to you longer. But as you can tell, things were getting kind of kind of hairy around there. And um, so uh, I was complaining because Bruce was – uh, complaining with some of our help and kind of getting mad at one of the kids and I and I told him I said well did you tell the, the kid not to do that he said no I was like well we haven't taken any mind reading classes around here so don't be hating on the help okay now if he told him and the kid still did it that would have been different but it, Bruce said no I didn't tell him and I was like well you kind of have to kind of tell him you know they haven't taken mind reading yet and until we take mind reading you got to open your mouth and tell us you know so that's when Debbie got to see me in all my glory arguing with my husband. <laughs> Bruce should know better. Debbie, that's what I say, but I don't think he learns. Lord, I don't think he learns. He probably says the same thing about me, y'all. <laughs> all right, so I'm doing my green. Uh, I'm just basically, what am I doing? I'm doing some shading with that brush. That's what I'm doing. And, um, and so I've got my reindeer brown stalk or stem of my pumpkin. So y'all know enough by now, those of y'all that have been watching me know I'm going to use this shading brown on that. And I'm just gonna kind of bring a little bit in here. Because if you kind of keep uh, working that brush and learning how to use that brush to me, when you get to the point where you feel good about that shading brush, you just, you know, I feel like you just get on top of the world because you now have the ability to make something, um, you know, look really, really different. It didn't take me too long to learn with you. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Mind reading is a special skill. I think anybody who's been married or, or you know, been with somebody for a long time can kind of relate to that, you know, because Bruce was just getting after this kid. And I was like, Bruce, Bruce, did you tell the kid he wasn't supposed to do that? He's like, no, I thought he would know that. Well, not really. Not really. So I got my brown. I'll tell you what. I was going to go to orange, but I need to do this. Yet. So, of course, I'm going to grab my shade in yellow. I'm going to put some water in here. And um, so I'm going to stir, 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 stir. I think uh, hopefully you guys can kind of catch on that I put water in most everything I do because I just uh, like the way that the paint behaves when I do that. 
and I'm gonna keep with that same shader. And uh, yeah, you can't assume with kids, you really, really can't, and we really shouldn't assume with adults either, but it's a little safer, but with a kid, you know, and he's a good kid, you know, and I'm over here trying to tell him he's a good kid, and Bruce is over here giving him the wherefores and how comes. I'm like, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that. He's like, well, he should know better. And I, you know, we always have, the, Bruce and I have this conversation, well, what, you know, what did our parents think about us when we were kids? You know, they probably said all kind of stuff about us. So, <laughs> kid didn't know Bruce's work <laughs> Exactly, you know. So, isn't that the truth? But uh, he's a good kid and I enjoy working with him. So, I didn't want him to get, I didn't want him to quit on us, you know. Sometimes it's hard to find people who can take the heat like we do and be outside in this time. And this kind of, um, this time of year. Hey, in the, in the summer, I'm sorry, in the winter, it's really easy to do. No big deal. But in the summer, not so much. Not so much. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow shading right up here on his ear. And I'm going I'm to even do a little bit right around here. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Just enough to kind of give it a little bit of an accent there. So now I think I'm ready to shade with my orange. So I'm going to go with a bigger brush and um, do that. Okay, so this is a brush that's kind of new. It's not really worn out, so I'm going to put a little bit of water on it, soften it up a little bit, and then kind of get that water out like that. Just kind of take the water out. And, uh, but this is a really cute piece. This is a pattern that's probably 30 years old, long time. But sometimes I think the oldies are the best. This is a very old pattern that we've had. I haven't done it in probably 15 years. Because you, you just kind of get in a, a, this thing about, you know, it's easy to forget what kind of patterns you have. You know, kind of like, you know, looking at the clothes in your closet, it's kind of easy to forget. Sometimes, oh yeah, I haven't seen that shirt in a long time. Well, and in my case, perhaps there's a problem with fitting into the shirt. I know y'all can relate to that. So one of the things I like to do when I do a pumpkin, and if he has, you can look at this and see it right now. He has uh, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. But he, I think he's fixing to look real different in just a few seconds, and it's basically because of the, the shading. That's really what it's because of. I just kind of do that. And that, you know, the shading just really makes a big difference in, in my opinion, you know. So it's just the look that I like. And you'll get there, just keep practice, 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 practice. <coughs> so I'm gonna kind of do this. And I probably will kind of, I can't decide what I wanna do over there just yet, but I'll come over here. And I think this is what Joy was talking about when she caught me at the store the other day. When you see me do these long strokes, I'm just able to do that because I've got so much paint on that brush. And I think the secret to this too is just make sure you're not trying to, make sure you're moving that arm on those long strokes, okay? And that, that'll help get you some relief there as far as, you know, it'll get you a long stroke on there. So I'll probably just come to about right here. And then I'll probably come in here, just kind of freehand that a little bit. And then, do that. Here we go. Like so. Now you can see it didn't take me long and I have now quite a bit of orange on my pumpkin. Put a little bit more here. Now I think I've decided I'm going to leave the little kitty cat nose orange. So I'm going to come in here. Just a little bit. I'm going to shade it just a little bit. Just enough to know it's there. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm gonna go to red orange, <clears throat> which is almost a red, but not really when you look at it, then you think it's orange, and then you're like, no, that's red. But it looks really orange when you put it on something against orange, like I'm fixing to. So I'm gonna do this uh, script liner. So. Ashley, I know you're watching 
I, I think I've told you, but I just want to remind you, we had those that video shoot at um, Friday morning at 9 o'clock. So we've got a company that's doing some website work for us, and one of the things that they do is they offer a video uh, where they come out and shoot, you know, professional videos. So it's supposed to do that on, we, we actually had it scheduled one day last week, and the rain kind of, Kind of got us down and we weren't able to do it so we're going to be doing that on friday which is really for those of you who've been to the shop before we have a lot of stuff out right now that's kind of early like a lot of christmas stuff and the only reason for that is because we've been anticipating this video shoot we want to make sure because we're going to put this video on our website you know that we have as much stuff out in that yard as possible as far as this time of year so um uh, we're supposed to do that on Friday, hopefully. I don't think it'll rain. I think somebody said we might have a chance of rain, but I don't think it'll rain. Even though we really could use some rain because it's pretty dry where I'm at, y'all. So I'm just kind of going with that red, orange, kind of coming in here. And I'm outlining the lid of my pumpkin lid, the, the brim of my pumpkin lid, I should say. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that orange and of course, I'm gonna outline all of this in a minute. And one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline my kitty in it. I'm gonna make my kitty really bright. Something like that. And when I'm putting this on top of a black, you're gonna have to put a lot of paint to cover that black. It's just the nature of that color. But you gotta have your black kitty for Halloween. For Halloween. All right, now I'll come up here. I'll outline that ear. Yeah, I think I like it. All right. And I just kind of moved my brush back and forth on there and just kind of made some uh, squiggly lines. Nothing perfect, nothing prim and proper. In fact, just kind of messy looking on that. There we go. And here I'm even gonna do this. Give him a little bit of a eyebrow. And I'm gonna come back here in a little bit and make that black. Just put a lot of paint in there. Cause I really like this color as far as all that goes. So I'm going to, here in a little bit, give him two teeth down here. I'm gonna to have to freehand that because the CNC didn't do that. So we're gonna give him two teeth, I think. Here in a little bit, I'll do that. So I'll just kind of come up like so. Notice I'm just kind of picking that brush up in the air when I get to the end there, just pick it up a little bit. There we go. And I'll do something like that. And then we've got to come over here and do the other side of his face. Got his some little paws. Okay, so far I think my kitty's looking all right. So what I'm gonna do, I've got him up here. I'm gonna bring, keep with this red orange and just use that script liner. Go to town with the script liner, so to speak. And I usually kind of just do a light or dotted it or dashed um, line there. Just kind of give it a a little bit of a dash line. Then I'll come in here. Now my paint is still kind of wet in here. If this was not a video, I'd probably take it a few minutes and let it sit under the fan. And so I'm just gonna come up here like so. And when I'm doing your out, when I'm outlining like that, of course the 
The main goal is to outline, right, and separate each color. But also, when you have, since you have that brush out, just take a little bit of a light stroke, kind of a messy light stroke, if you a wavy light stroke around out there. Give it a little bit more personality out here. Hey, Christy, how are you? I love and can't wait to paint mine. I think these are so cute, Danae. I don't know what it is about this pattern. I was saying earlier, I think this pattern is probably like 30 years old. I used to do it, as the kids say, back in the day. It's been a long time. So long that Ashley may not even remember this pattern. It's been a long time. But hey, sometimes the oldies are the goodies. So I would just kind of come out here around that eye and just give it a little bit of an extra brush stroke for a little bit more interesting eye. Here. Now I've got to do his mouth here, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to come up here, and I think between having the light orange, the shading orange, the red orange, the yellow, the shading yellow, and the green and the dark green, it just gives it a real, real good look a fall, Halloweeny, you know, kind of look. Lots of color, but that's kind of my trademark. Um, I like things that have lots and lots of color. So I've always been like that. Uh, y'all, I think I've told y'all before when I first started out at this uh, location where we're at right now, it was in the early 90s. <clears throat> and um, when I first got there, she had already had eight artists. I was the ninth artist. And after we were all there for, you know, I was there for a couple of years. Uh, we kind of got to know each other and they would all laugh and i was the youngest person out there at the time yeah she said it doesn't surprise me actually because he's very old uh, and they would all laugh at my stuff because it had so much color on it you know and then they kind of stopped laughing as my stuff started really selling and i noticed they all went back put a lot of color on there so but that's just i think that looks good to have lots of lots of color on there so what i'm going to do on my green though up here I'm going to get some black paint out. I'm going to outline these leaves and some black paint. All right. So, do I have any black paint right here, y'all? A little bit, not a whole lot, but I don't really need a whole lot. That's the that's the cool thing about you know, especially shading colors. You don't need a lot of paint. Now, your base coating colors, yeah, you do. Hey, Taylor, how are you? Taylor is my nephew's daughter. Does that make me her great aunt, I think? Uh, so, you know, we were talking the other day, and I don't know if this would be helpful or not to some of you guys, but uh, in fact, I think we have it right here. Y'all know how we have this label on the back that gives you the colors? Ashley and I were talking the other day about that. And uh, some of you, if you order online, you know that we have that online too, that suggested list or whatever and uh, we were talking the other day would it be any value to you guys for us to post that suggested list when we're doing videos maybe in the comments i don't know if that's it would even be helpful but if y'all have a have an opinion about that one way or the other let us know and um because you know obviously we haven't done this that long so we're making how can i say this where it makes sense um Part of the thing about doing something for as long as I have, or even as long as Ashley has, is you kind of forget uh, so much information just resides up here that you don't even really consciously think about. And so sometimes it's hard for us to really appreciate every little bit of piece of information that we carry in the inside of our head and how can we convey that to you guys. Because, you know, you can't convey it all at once because, well, uh, number one, I can't think of all of it all at once. And number two, you couldn't digest it all at once, even if I could think of it all at once type of thing. But, you know, if there's something that we can do <clears throat> to make it help uh, more helpful for you guys, I do know that it's helpful having that on the website because y'all have told us that on the listing, you know. Uh, but I don't know if it would be helpful to have it on the posted in the comments or not and then we also talked about 
Um, is it helpful? I think, uh, trying to remember, because all of these videos are in the Academy. But now that I think about it, I think in the Academy there's not a list of supplies or su suggested supplies or however you want to put it. Not And not that you guys ever have to do what we're doing. You can definitely go do something different, but there's a, there's a fair amount of you that would look, that want to know kind of as a starting point what we do, you know, how we did it in terms of color. All right, I got a lot of paint there, y'all. That's all right. That's okay. And see, sometimes I'll just take this paintbrush and I'll just kind of do like that, just to... Just a brush stroke, nothing, nothing fancy. I see a little spot that I missed over here. <laughs> little bitty spot right here. All right. Well, let's just put it right here, y'all. Just a little. So now I think I'm ready to, I think you can tell I have quite a bit of paint on there. I think I'm ready to um, go ahead and do my white highlights. Yeah, if y'all can think of anything, go ahead and put it in the comments here on this video. If there's anything that you can think of that we can do to be more helpful or more transparent or more um, informative, you know, that would help you. Because obviously, if you're successful, we're successful. That's kind of how this kind of how this gig works. If you're not successful, then we're not successful. So I think on the web and on the product is enough. Okay, okay. Thank you, Debbie, for letting me know that. Yeah, because uh, a lot of this just lives in my head and I just kind of, honestly, it, it just does, sometimes it doesn't occur to me that I really need to give more info on something. All right, so we got that. Yeah, and I just would come in here how do you know where to put that white line? Well, the answer is you just put it where you think it looks good. I tend to put the white line wherever I have quite a bit of base color coming through. That's kind of what I do. Now, I told you earlier, we gotta put some little teeth on this guy. Nothing too big. He's gonna have little, two little teepees. Nothing too big. Kitty Kitty doesn't have really big, big teeth. And I think just putting two little triangles, upside down triangles, that just kind of helps that little guy have some, almost some human characteristics, so. Okay. Oh, another thing is that uh, we were selling templates now on the website and we've had a couple of questions about them. <clears throat> and so one of the questions that came up that maybe you guys can help me on this because I don't really know uh, on something like this. A customer asked, could, or was asking why she couldn't download the file on her phone. I think she was having trouble downloading it on her phone. And I really didn't even know how to respond to that because I don't open files on my phone. I open files on my desktop. So if any of y'all know anything about how to open a file, like an SVG or a, a JPEG or a DXF on your phone, Man, if y'all could chime in and give us some insight into that, that'd be great. Because I, I really couldn't help her a whole lot because I, I just don't do that. I just do everything on a desktop. I know some people do a lot of stuff on the phone. Um, but I work on a desktop a lot, so I don't really know how to download a file onto a phone. I would assume if they're downloading a file onto a phone, they're doing that just so they can get it to their printer and maybe print it on the printer. But I, I don't even know that much. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. So, I'm just putting some white in here. There we go. Here, here. There we go. And again, I, where do I put white? I just put a lot of white, for the most part, wherever my base color, uh, quite a bit of base color is showing through. Wow, y'all, I think this has only been a 30 minute video for me, that's really, it's really fast. Hold on a minute, I wanna show y'all. Okay, so you see this guy, we got lots of paint on him, but just look at his eyes up close. Do you see that little extra line I did? It's not a perfect line, right? But it's just kind of a, gives it a little bit more of a imperfect hand painted look. Same thing on the mouth, right? Let's get up here to our lid, because sometimes I'm not sure how good y'all can see while I'm painting with the angle of the camera. And then I want to get over here to the kitty cat. Kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat. I think he's super cute. 
he's got lots of personality. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let's see. Phaedra, do you, I have an iPhone 11. I do too. And it automatically downloads and opens. Interesting. See, I've never even tried... I've never even tried to look, uh, even tried to download a file on my phone. Uh, so, because I think of most people, if they're going to use our files, they're going to do one of two things. They're going to enlarge it, maybe by a um, overhead projector, or if you're if you're downloading a file, uh, you can always take uh, just print it out on a piece of paper, like eight and a half by eleven. I thank you, Phaedra. I love him too. I think he's so cute. I was telling him earlier, I think he's about 35 years old, the pattern is. But anyway, I'm telling my age. Um, but back to the files, I think a lot of people, and maybe I'm wrong, but on the files, I would think that they're, if you're wanting to enlarge the file, which for yard art, you know, obviously you would, they're going to do one of two things. They're like going to put it on overhead projector, an opaque projector, or take it down to like a copy doctor or to FedEx Kinko's and have them enlarge it. Because... You can take that file, print it out on a five, eight and a half by 11 sheet and um, take it to a Kinko's or a copy doctor. And let's say, if, you know, we don't sell this file, but let's say you bought this file. And for whatever reason, you wanted to make this one, I don't know, five feet tall, something really large. You can go down to copy doctor and give them that file on a piece of paper or even just take it in a digital format. I'm sure they could do it. And um, they, they will enlarge it for you as big as you want. Now you have to pay them. But uh, before, this is a long time ago, probably 10 years, maybe longer, I got a lot of files enlarged at the FedEx Kinko's over on Bay Area Boulevard in Clear Lake, not too far from um, Highway 3, right, right over there. I think it's still there. Uh, you probably could go to copy uh, Office Max over here, or Office, sorry, Office Depot on 35. Or, and those of you that are out of town, just go to, you know, a... Uh, some sort of copy place, maybe even like a, a, a digital print place. But um, anyway, I would think in those cases, most people are downloading files on their computer. But it, so when the question came up, how, why can't I get this file to download on my phone? The answer is I don't know because I don't download files on a phone. So anyway, sorry about that. Uh, yes, you can enlarge with block poster, but Dawn, let me ask you this because um, the nature of what we do, which by the way, Dawn, I saw your order come through. We'll be getting that out for you. Uh, the nature of what we do, let's say if you wanted this uh, kitty cat and pumpkin three, four, five feet tall, I don't understand how block poster is going to print out enough of that on a piece of paper, but maybe I don't know enough about block poster. Uh, so if you could let me know, can block poster enlarge something to three, four, and five feet tall? I mean, I can see why they could do it you know, maybe two feet tall, but I don't know if that, if you can do that on block poster. Uh, Kelly says you can make a JPEG larger on block poster on your computer and print it at home. Yeah, but now, Kelly, the question on that, my question for you is that, how large? Like a lot of our stuff is very large. Now that doesn't mean y'all have to do it that large, but let's, I, some people do want large things. So on block poster, can you, you can take 20, you can take 20 pieces of paper together. Okay. Well, more power to you on block poster if you've got the patience to do 20 pieces of paper because I'd just go right down to copy doctor and have them do it for me. But that's me. Um, but yeah, because sometimes people want, you know, something that's two foot or three foot or whatever. But then also there's lots of times people want something a lot larger than that. So, and also while we have you on here, guys, y'all let me know how interested are you? I have... Uh, it can do it. Dawn says, thank you in multiple pages. And yes. Okay. Thank you, Dawn, for that. I appreciate that response. Uh, you've got some four foot. Okay. Good deal. So you can do it on block poster. You can do, take it to a Kinko's or you can take it to, uh, you know, a, a copy doctor in Friendswood. That's what we have and get them to enlarge it for you. Uh, but back to digital files, I have thousands of files. I, I don't even know how many files. Uh, now, like I said, some of them, this file that I did tonight is, is 30 years old, but just cause it's old doesn't make it, uh, necessarily obsolete. Uh, but let us know how interested you are as, you know, as a future unfolds, how interested are you in getting files or in purchasing files or needing files? Maybe y'all don't need that. Uh, now it would take us some time, obviously, um, uh, to, to get all that digitally. It won't be all this year, <laughs> you know? Because, uh, like I said, uh, if I go through all of my stuff, I probably have 
two, three thousand patterns. I don't know because I've been doing this a long time. So, uh, but you know, we have some. We probably have fifty different Santas. Just for example, uh, now it would take some time to get all those files together. But uh, I've noticed that several of you have purchased the uh, Merry Christmas Santa file that we put up yesterday. So. Anyway, but thank y'all for letting me know that, Dawn. I appreciate that. We'll get your order out really soon. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other questions, and uh, you can comment it on this video, and I will take a look at that. Now, Dawn, when you say you want a cut file, to me, a cut file is a DXF. Is that what you mean by a cut file? Because in my world, it you have a Glowforge. So on a Glowforge, uh, is a cut file an SVG? Because I live in the CNC world where a cut file is a DXF. But I don't know about Glowforge, so let me know about that, Dawn. Uh, because I thought we did DXF, SVG, JPEG, and uh, PDF. Uh, let's see. Would you be interested in the files that are only the shapes, just the outside? I don't know if she would or not. But uh, in the Glowforge world, is a cut file, is that a DXF or is that an SVG? Or exactly what is that? Because I'd, I'd be curious to know. Uh, Connie just got a Glowforge here a while back, so we're just, she's just in the very learning phases of all that, so. But we live in interesting times because of technology. There's there's only 20 million ways you can skin the cat, so to speak. So, uh, anyway, but uh, thank y'all for that information. Yes, SVG. So, Dawn, I thought I gave the SVG on that uh, Merry Christmas, Santa. Let me know if I didn't. Okay, I thought I did. Uh, because I definitely have the ability to do an SVG. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Thank you for your support. Oh, let's see, before I go, September. So tomorrow night, I'm gonna be in the Academy. I'm going to do, oh, hold on a minute. I wanna show y'all something. Don't leave, I'll be right back. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna do this little guy. He's the scarecrow with the crow. I'll be in the academy on that. Um, but I have cut him out several different times because we've had people, we would run out of stock. We've had people who wanted him. I think we might have two or three in here now in this in inventory. But let me know if you want to order it or you're interested in order it, and I'll cut some more. You can comment in this video or you can just put a post up and say, hey, can y'all cut some more of these? It's early enough that I think I could do that. But... Uh, I think I have a couple of them in stock, along with the little, I know we're out of stock on the pumpkin that's sitting, the scarecrow that's sitting on the pumpkin, the little one, but I am cutting those tomorrow, or, you know, we'll cut those tomorrow. Uh, Y'all can also go to Google and convert files for free. Okay, good, okay. Uh, I need to learn how to convert files. Yeah, I don't know about that. Ashley might know a little bit better about that than I do, Dawn. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I'll see y'all tomorrow in the Academy. Ashley, we'll see y'all Thursday in the Painters Club. She's doing the triple stack pumpkins. And then uh, Ashley will be back with y'all twice next week. And we'll do the Zoom call with the Academy next week. So, hope you guys have a good night. And you guys take care. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>